G'day everyone, welcome back. So, um, yeah, I've had a few people ask me about how to do IMDB. I've done a couple. Um, I'm not an expert, but I'll just show you the way I do it. It's the way a few other YouTubers I've seen have done it, and it seems to work the best. It is. It can be a little bit uh, labor intensive, so it's not a not a super quick process. You just got to make sure that you essentially tick everything, get everything right. So. The first thing you have to do is go to contribute.imdb.com. That's the only way that you can get to where you need to go. You can't just go to your normal IMDb page and try and do one from there because it won't work. When you get here, you have contribution history, which will bring up all the projects that you've done before. And you have contributor zone. So contributor zone is where you want to go to. This is just the founder, don't worry about him. <laughs> so you want to go to contributor zone. When you get here, there's a section here called add a, how to add a new title. So you want to click on that and then it's going to bring up this page so what this does now is this allows you to be able to do whatever you need to do with the titles they they like to have you like you to have capitals all right so we're just going to make up a title we're going to go um i don't know slide away for example all right um now you don't have to put in short or feature you just put in film and tick the box uh, status we're going to put not yet complete choose i'm just going to put um producer ride director and then you check these updates it will bring up a yellow box because you have to uh, tick whether it's a short or a feature like it does here let's make it a, a feature length film check these updates again all right and this is all yet so now the reason this is yellow is because there's already uh, films with so what we'll do see so there's already similar films you can put this is not an existing title you can try that recheck these updates it may still come up yellow so if that's the case we just add in the date after it no okay so now it's asking for mandatory field so what we have to do is because there's already a similar similar title we're just going to go choose we're going to go um, pre-production just going to type in here this film is in pre-production then from here this is just uh, release dates due to ongoing health costs not going to release frequently changing year all right so we're going to go country is going to be australia uh we'll just make the release date what for 15th of july 2021 attribute um you just want to throw on their internet because that's that's probably where you're going to release it country of origin where it's where the film originated from is australia then you come down here obviously you have your languages you, you choose english attribute you don't have to do attributes it may ask you though but you most of the time you don't have to you just put english um obviously color and then again i, I just put them in because i just fill in as much as i can you can either put full hd 4k usually i put 2k because most of it's recorded in 2k uh genre let's just go drama all right, and that's it. So now what you can do is we'll go director's credits, add a credit. I'll just put my name in because I'm already there. Uh, just put directed by. Again, you don't have to do the attributes. Uh, budget is Australian dollars, wherever AUD is. Here, let's just go a thousand bucks. All right, um, there's no, so if you've got an official site, like if it was already, if it was in post-production already to be released or been released, then you'd put in your URL and description. We don't need to worry about that. Distributor, uh, if you don't have a distribution company on board, don't worry about that. Production companies, I'll just put mine in. Um, and then I just put produced by. So now here you have all your cast writers. So I haven't filled in any of these yet, but every time you do something like this, you have to tick recheck these updates because it'll go through and tell you what you've done wrong, what you've done right. So see, it's still all yellow. So basically what it's saying is we now have to fill out. Uh, I'll have to tick this. So because I'm already on IMDb right here, I have to tick that to say that it's me. And same here, same with the production company. This is saying that you need to have a country code. So basically the country code for Australia is square brackets, AU square brackets. So I'm already there, so I just tick that one. Now, this is mandatory. You need to have three major credit items so we're just going to go uh cast will add one credit producers will add one credit and writer 
when I submitted um, the last one, I did everything. I filled in virtually everything except for the plot summaries, just because it's easier and I had all the information on hand. If you don't have it on hand, don't worry about it. So once you mark these one credit, you can have as many as you want. You could have 10 actors, 15 actors, whatever. However many you got, you know, you could have as many producers as you want. So you just, if you have, say, if you tick the 10 boxes, but you only have seven actors, when you refresh it, they will go away. So don't worry too much about that. So we've got those three checked. Then we, then we have to go back down here to recheck these updates. All right. So now what that's done is that will bring up green, 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 green. It's all green. So now what we have to do is type in the actor. So we might go, um, I don't know, just type in David, David, David. All right, so do that. And his actor might be James. So you don't have to put an attribute. Your attributes come up as voice and credit. Dot. I don't worry too much about that. Uh, the writer, I'll just put myself. Uh, attribute, I don't worry about it. Producers, I'll put myself. And then you have to choose one of these, so just put producer. And then you go to refresh, recheck these updates. You gotta do that every single time because otherwise you don't know what you're doing right or wrong. Uh, good, still coming up yellow, so that's good. This will give you an idea of what's going on. Um, all green, all green. So here, it's saying David, David. Now, this is bringing up names that are close to it, but it's not on the it, he's, the names not on the list. So what you do is you go down to here. Where it says, "I'm not sure." Submit it as David, David, and let the IMDb IMDb staff decide. So you tick that. And then this one here, I have to tick my name because again, I'm already on Slice. Ah, uh, sorry, already on IMDb. Again, I'm already on IMDb. So if you type in. If you're the producer and you've already got a credit, then you've got to tick your name on there. Uh, and then we obviously go back down to recheck these updates. And that's it. It's done. So all of these are what we've filled in and they've accepted. And as you can see, every bit of IMDb, except for the bits you don't need, are green. So, and that's it. And so then you can go through, you can do, if you want to add in composers, cinematographers, editors, just depends on how many people you want to give credits for. Um, I don't worry about certificate of information. Oh, that's a rating. You could put MA, whatever. Running times are good to do. You can add in locations. If you want to put in sound mix, aspect ratio, get your taglines, keywords, trivia, miscellaneous. Sometimes they will ask you for a miscellaneous link when you um, submit. It takes about, I don't know, 24 hours to 48 hours for them to get back to you. I did one for um, Death and a Little Girl, a short film coming up, and they did ask for a miscellaneous link. So all I did was copy the Facebook URL, put that in there, and that should be fine. So that's it. That's it. And then all, when, you, when you're happy with everything, the way you want to do it, you just go submit these updates. I'm not going to do it because it's not a real film. And it will get back to you and let you know if, it, if it's all good. So that's basically it. That is how you do IMDb. Um, and once it's all green, then, you, then yes, you submit. You can save for later if there are other things you want to add in. Say, for example, if you, if you want to do the location or the running time, and you don't know it yet, and you get the details, you can go back in and redo it. Um, you can, the only thing you can't do here is add posters or uh, trailers, for example. So <clears throat> when, when you submit this and it gets approved, then you go back into it on the IMDb site, and you can add your posters and stuff in from there. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope it was informative. I hope it helped you out. If you do have any trouble, let me know. I'm happy to help you out doing an IMDb site. We can work something out. Um, or I can go through it with you. Uh, don't forget, I'll link in the description below my Patreon. If you jump on there, there's there's uh, from $3 a month, you can join on and you get behind the scenes stuff. I might even throw up a little bit of how to do this sort of stuff on there. Um, yeah, and I'll link some of my other social medias on there. Thanks, everyone.